you've seen a Gonzaga on tape, what is what kind of sticks out the most to you? Oh, the bigs. <laughs> uh, their front court is as good as it gets. Um, you know, we obviously preparing, got to prepare both ways. Barnowski hasn't played in the last several games, but um, you know, prepare like he is going to play with or without him. Um, they've got an incredible front line. And Sabonis and Wilshire are extremely talented. And you're looking at first round guys, you know, so, um, so that's where it starts. But then I, I really like. You know, this backcourt that they have has been a very good defending backcourt. And so our guards have got to do a good job. Uh, and obviously our bigs are going to have to be very, very competitive inside and be able to play out on the perimeter as well just because of what Wilshire can do inside now. Given the lineup you've chosen, the two bigs, does it, uh, do you look forward to a matchup against the team that you know, uses bigs the way they do? Well, yeah, yes and no. The, the, the issue is Wilshire plays out on the perimeter an awful lot, you know, so you know, I think that's going to be the true test of the game. You've got Wilshire and Sabonis in their starting lineup. We've got obviously uh, Tom and Tony. So how does that how does that war kind of end up winning out? Because Wilshire's going to take Tom Tony out, and we're going to put Wilshire in. You know, so it's it's going to be interesting how that how that plays out. That's going to be a big key to it, and obviously playing there. You know, I've. I've not been in the new facility uh, as a player or as a coach, uh, but I know it's one of the top venues in all of college basketball. So that being our first true road test, uh, there's a lot of challenges with this. And uh, our guys are going to do a good job. We're coming out of finals. We're going to have to really focus. And we've had a good week. We need a couple more days of, of practice. But I, I like the way the guys have performed. And um, we've got a little bit of momentum going, so we need to go play well. How much does the experience of seeing them twice last year carry over? Yeah, I hope a lot. You know, like Kentucky, you know, we were embarrassed last year against Kentucky, and uh, we were able to play a lot better this year against them. Um, now we're playing a team that beat us twice, once at our place and once that ended our season. So there's a lot of, uh, obviously there's a lot to play this team again to have a chance because uh, I think our guys are going to be motivated. I know they're going to be motivated. They're extremely well coached. and. A uh, very difficult team to play against, so we're going to have to play much better than we did in the two times that we played them last year. I thought the uh, game one we didn't defend well enough, and game two we didn't score well enough. So we've got to be able to put those things together to give ourselves a chance to win in Spokane. How much different are they with with the backcourt? Most of the backcourt being out, the front court still the same. Yeah. How, how much can you use? Like, I think they're very similar in the front court. Obviously, just seasoned and better. The backcourt, it's just. Uh, you know, it's a feeling out process. It's uh, them just getting used to one another because uh, they've had the services, and I think we're all that way. When when you've got a really good guard or you've got good guards and they leave you, there's a learning curve for the new guys, and that's happening uh, as Gonzaga continues to compete and get better. You're going to see those guards, just they just continue to get better and better as they get experience. But it'll, it makes you appreciate guys like Pangos, uh, and we've all had guards like that. So. When you have an individual like that, that really gives you poise and calmness and controls your offense, defense, gets you where you got to go, um, there's a lot of importance to that. And, and now new guys come in and fill those molds, and they're doing a really good job. And I think as they continue to get more and more games on the belt, you're going to see them continue to advance and continue to become even a better team than they are now. And that's kind of scary because I think they're very good. This is the first true road game of the season. The team's a little older now. Do you feel as if they've learned kind of from the, from the past road games? Well, we hope so. I, obviously, we're playing uh, four guys that are brand new um, in Jonah and Prince and Aaron and Alex. So, four of those guys, four of those eight guys that are in that rotation are brand new. So, it, but as you mentioned, the veterans, it's important that those veterans of Tom and Tony and Bryce and Isaac. They do a good job of letting these new guys know what it's like to go on the road because it is different. Um, and so it, the vets have got to do a good job of getting these new guys uh, not so much ready, but just what it's like to play on the road because it's much different than at home and it's much different than neutral. Do you stress anything in particular about playing on the road? We haven't stressed hardly anything um, to date because mm -hmm. of finals. Um, Monday through Thursday in particular has been all about their finals. We actually have a couple finals still yet to do. Uh, I think Tom and uh, Ike maybe have finals on Friday. So we don't complete finals until right up to our practice slot, which is 1.30 tomorrow. So being very careful. You know, we'll go to film for the first time today. Uh, but mentally, we have not thrown a lot at them. Physically, get them in the gym, get them running up and down, give them uh, kind of a 
stress release from the books. Uh, but they know their top priority this week has been finishing academically. So we'll, as the week continues here and gets a little bit longer, we'll start challenging them in those ways, but we haven't yet. When, uh, when you recruited Prince, what stuck out to you? Uh, a very kind of young Norman. Um, and in fact, he's probably gone past that early on here because he, his shooting has been much better. And um, I, I'm hoping that that's what he can continue to grow into because Norman, if you looked at him as a freshman and then how he developed, and Norman was patient. Norman took the minutes he could get in year one and just continued to build on those things. And um, that's what Prince has got to do because I think Prince is extremely tight. He's very athletic, just like Norman. He drives the ball very aggressively like Norman. Uh, but where Norman really developed through his college career was defensively and the ability to shoot the basketball. I think Prince is probably further along than Norman was from a shooter as a freshman, uh, and that's a positive. Um, I think Norman's ahead defensively, and that's where if Prince can continue to work and look at that. I, I think you got very similar guys like that, and that should be exciting for Prince because Norman's in the NBA right now. So, uh, But if I had to compare him to anybody, it'd be a young Norman. Prince is kind of more and more of a rarity in that he really got to grow up playing mostly on playgrounds before he, he got a little bit of AAU experience, but not a lot. What do you get from a guy like that who, who doesn't play as much in the AAU experience that you wouldn't get otherwise? Um, you know, he's not, he's fearless for one. And I think that's, you always look for things like that in freshmen. Some freshmen are very timid and tentative and passive. The thing I like about Prince is he goes at it and he goes at you. You know, you saw that in the Kentucky game. Uh, he's a fearless competitor, it doesn't matter you know, I, I, that's why we look for him to do things in this Gonzaga game, that first road trip. It doesn't; those things don't bother him. Where the game is, who it is, he knows he's very confident in his ability. And he just goes at you. Might not always, as a young player, do all the right things, but you know you're going to get a high level of intensity at game time. And I think that's what we've been most impressed with with Prince so far.